Everyone, Phil Burnell here, also known as Dark Side Phil on the internet, and I'm going to try to make this as concise as possible, although I have a story to tell today. I'm really not making this video really for me, but I'm doing it more for my viewer. Allow me to explain. I'm a full-time streamer on the internet, and the other day I had an equipment malfunction. The, the device that captures footage for me when I play games died. So my business is kind of dead in the water until I get a replacement. Problem being that my PC is older Sadly, modern or newer capture devices won't work with it, so I had to find a replacement that was kind of an exception to the rule right away. Well, a, a viewer of mine, a longtime fan, stepped up and out of the kindness of their heart, not only offered to offer up a capture device that they have that they know would be compatible with my PC, but they also offered to overnight it to me. So I would have it this morning, today, December 28th, 2022. I'd be able to hook it up, get it working during my day off, troubleshoot, so that tomorrow when I return to work on December 29th, I would have a stream for my hundreds to thousands of viewers to watch. I, you know, I've been dead in the water for two days with no gameplay and people want my, my business to continue. So I was incredibly grateful to this person. The reason I'm making this video today is not a good one, okay? The item didn't show up today. Not only didn't it show up, I received some of the worst customer support I've ever seen uh, on multiple fronts. I want to make it clear what happened. And I'm hoping for some restitution, not for me, but for my viewer, because my viewer paid FedEx for express overnight shipping to get this capture device to me. For those who don't know, that's incredibly expensive. FedEx is supposed to be the gold standard when it comes to shipping here in the United States. Like anyone who ships anything and wants it to get there fast, wants it to get there dependable, you pay, you get FedEx. You're going to pay more for it, but you're going to get that level of service above all the other shipping companies that are available. And that's why you don't go USPS. You don't go UPS. You always go FedEx. Everyone knows that. I thought that's the level of service that I was going to get and that my viewer was going to get when they purchased that overnight delivery, and we did not. Let me tell you the story of what happened today, and I'm hoping that FedEx is going to make it right, if not for me, at least for my viewer, okay? So... Yesterday morning, the 27th of December, my viewer buys overnight express delivery for this capture device. Sends, you know, gives it to FedEx in the morning, first half of the day. Shipping label, everything created, you know, tracking number. It says it's supposed to be delivering today before noon, my time, okay? Great. Sounds good to me. It comes in the morning. I'll have time to hook it up, mess around with it, all right? Now, for clarification purposes, I do live in a private community. There is a gate that you need a gate code to get into this community. However, FedEx has the gate code. Perfect example, less than two weeks ago, my parents sent my wife and I a surprise Christmas gift. It was delivered with no problems. We didn't give FedEx the gate code. They already had it. They came in. They delivered it right on our front doorstep. No problems. It's here. Merry Christmas. This happens all the time. Everyone in this facility gets FedEx packages. They already have the gate code. So there's no excuse for FedEx to say they can't deliver a package. They have the gate code to get into this facility. Okay, so I'm not thinking it's going to be any problem. This should be easy. It should be delivered this morning. I'm sitting around waiting. Uh, noon comes. Said this out for delivery. Never shows up. Oh, delivery status changes. Now it's coming by end of day. So for whatever reason, already there's a delay unexplained by FedEx. Don't know what happened, but for some reason, we're not getting the level of customer service that my, my viewer paid for. It's being delayed. Whatever. Maybe it's a busy day. It is right after Christmas. Maybe that's what the deal is. I'm not going to you know freak out too much about it. Except that I'm waiting all day and the package still isn't showing up. So I'm waiting and waiting. It's still not here or whatever. Maybe it's going to come late. I don't know how late FedEx actually delivers here. And all of a sudden, I receive a frantic email around 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, my time, from my, my fan, my viewer. They say, Phil, what happened? I paid for overnight so you could have this today. It says you weren't home to accept the package, so now it's delayed. I said, what? I said, what that is an outright blatant lie. I'm here waiting for the package. I'm I'm literally sitting here waiting for it so that I can receive it and test it today. Okay? So I look at the tracking information and it says at 4 44 p.m. my local time, someone attempted to deliver the package to my home and I was unavailable. That is 100 percent a lie. There is no other way to describe it, or, or that is just a lie. If they had said, Oh, went to the front gate and couldn't get in, that at least would have made some sense. Literally, they lied and said it's my fault that I didn't get the package, all right? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate being lied about. And right away, I think that that employee uh, has some answers or uh, some questions to answer to their management of why they lied about the reason why this package wasn't delivered, okay? 
So I think one of two situations happened. Situation number one, employee shows up. Oops, I don't have the ability to reference gate codes, which I should have, but I didn't do my job right today. So lie about it. So I'm off the hook. Or number two, oops, I'm just running behind really badly today anyway. Uh, no way I'm going to get it. So just lie about it and just drive right by. It's got to be one of the two. I'm home. So there's no excuse why they say I wasn't available. It's a blatant lie. Okay. So this is concerning because as I'm checking on the website, it says, what are the options? Well, there's no redelivery option. All you can do, you can drive to the local FedEx facility after 6 p.m. and you can pick it up yourself in person if you really want it today. If not, it'll be rescheduled to be delivered tomorrow. Now, I don't want it delivered tomorrow. Why? Because if they didn't come today with the gate code, then who says they're going to come tomorrow with the gate code? Sounds to me like this person, whoever they are, just doesn't do their job right. And there's no guarantee I'm going to get this package. They already lied once. They'll just lie again. So I don't want to take that risk. I want to go get that package myself. All right. But before I do that, I say, let me call FedEx myself, explain the situation. Maybe they'll do something for me. Okay. So I call the 1-800 number. Got to go through all these automated menus. No way around it. Finally, put in your tracking number. No, I don't want any of your menu options. Circle. Get me to talk to a person. A person answers who has a heavy accent, probably because I'm calling around 5.30 p.m. It's probably the 24-hour international line. It's perfectly fine. I have no problem talking with someone who's not stationed in the U.S. I usually always get a good, you know, response and get good help from them. So I explain the situation in the middle of me explaining, and I want to clarify, was I probably talking fast? Yes. But was I agitated and or swearing? Absolutely not. I was being as courteous as I could be. I was explaining the situation, saying I really needed this package tonight for my business, I don't know why this person apparently has lied about me not being home because I was home the whole time. Is there anything we could do? And as I'm explaining on the phone, the phone goes from someone listening to the exit survey. You already got helped. Press now, rate this, rate my, my performance on the survey. I'm still talking. I didn't even finish telling you the story. The person apparently on the other line realized there's probably nothing they could do to help me and essentially hung up on me but forgot that when they hang up, it kicks it to the survey, right? Wow. What great customer support I'm getting today. Someone lies about me not being home, and then someone hangs up on me when I call to get help for it. This is really making me feel great as a customer. And can you imagine the level of support and level of service my viewer got for paying for overnight service? They paid for the most expensive shipping option for FedEx. This is the level of support that we're getting. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? So then I call back again. I go through all the menus again. I get a second person on the phone. And this time I say, listen, I want you to understand something. I'm not upset with you. I'm going to be talking fast and to explain the situation. But I really need help. Please don't hang up on me. Someone just did. Of course, the second person is very apologetic. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, we'll do whatever we can to help you. Of course. So finally, I get through the whole situation. Puts me on hold. Comes back. Okay. So I don't know why this person said what they said. You're If you're home, we believe you. Okay. But your option is... You can go pick it up at the facility tonight or you can have it delivered again tomorrow in the morning. And I said, okay, well, I'm home. You know, when can I have it? When can I pick it up at the facility? Well, I, she gives me the address. The facility apparently is only about 15, 20 minutes away from me. I'm thinking, all right, maybe I can make it. Well, how long do I have? She says, well, it says here, you know, it's almost 6 p.m. now because I've been on the phone for a bit. Um, it'll be open until 7. I said, okay, but can you confirm that? Because if I drive over there and they're closed, I'm going to be pretty upset. So she puts me on hold for five minutes. She comes back and says, sir, I'm so sorry. I guess they closed early today because no one answers the phone over there. So let me get this straight. There's an employee that lied blatantly about why they couldn't deliver a package. It is in their job requirement to then return the package to the local facility. So if it was missed, that person could drive there to get it. But also the facility decided to close early, which they're not supposed to do. It's very interesting. It's turning out to be a really interesting story, isn't it? Okay, I was like, I'm glad you checked. Could you imagine if I took time out of my day to drive there and now they're closed, which you didn't even know till you called yourself, right? So the woman's apologizing profusely. I said, so what can we do? She says, well, we can just reschedule for delivery tomorrow before noon. I said, wait a minute. That's what today was. Today was supposed to be overnight delivery before noon. They bumped it, then they didn't deliver it, and they lied. What's to stop them from doing that again? She goes, Oh, I'm sure now I'm going to put notes in the system and I'm going to have something to reach out that they need to escalate this and blah, blah, blah. I said, I still don't trust it. You know what I mean? 
You already had so many issues today. There's no guarantee these issues won't reiterate tomorrow. Plus, what's to stop someone who today forgot the gate code when they came to my place to forgetting it again tomorrow and just we go through the whole rigmarole day after day after day, okay? And to make matters worse, apparently they can close the, the physical facility whenever they want. So even the backup situation of me being able to drive there and get it also isn't available because they just do what they want there apparently. So the woman's very, very obviously apologetic. It's not her fault. I'm not angry at her. I, mean, I didn't swear once during the conversation, thankfully. Um, and basically she says, well, what I recommend you do, we have this new thing on our website. You know, create an account on the FedEx website. You put in your address and your information. You can actually put there not only your address, but you can say specifically where to leave packages and you can leave information like gate codes and things there too. And then it's listed there for all of our drivers to reference. I said, but they already have the code. They delivered something to me less than two weeks ago. All right, but this is our process, sir. All right, I'll do it. So I did it. I spent about 15 minutes extra. I set up the account. It's now there. My name's on their website. Their, the address is there. The code is in there for the gate and everything. All right? And then basically I'm like, so that's it? She's like, yeah, that's all I can do for you. I can't do anything else to help you. I said, wait a minute. What if I give you the gate code? Can you then provide? No, no. I can't do that. That's not allowed in my job description. We cannot relay information directly to FedEx facilities like that. You know, I already tried to call their clothes. I can't relay that. You got to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. So by the way, I hung up and I gave her, uh, when, when she hung up, I gave her all fives on the customer support survey because she tried her best. But it sounds to me like FedEx just doesn't care. This, this is a company that used to be the gold standard when it came to getting things shipped. This is not, oh, someone paid slow boat to get it across the country or whatever, and it was a cheap method, and that way you don't get the support. This was express overnight. I imagine my viewer and, and fan probably paid a ton of money to ensure this would be here today so that I could get it, test it, and make sure it worked for my business and my stream tomorrow. And now I can't do that because FedEx failed to live up to the contract that they gave my viewer. So here's what I would like. And here's what I hope will happen. Number one, I just hope this thing gets delivered tomorrow morning. No problems, but who knows? That's the problem. I'm now an heir of uncertainty. Will it show up? Will it not? Will they actually read the gate code this time? Come with the gate code this time? Will someone just be in a bad mood and lie again and say I wasn't available? You know, who knows at this point? Because they lied once, they can easily lie again. Will, will this local FedEx just close early? Maybe they'll close at 8 in the morning and not do any work tomorrow. I don't know. Now, obviously, I'm being cynical, but the point is they were supposed to be open till 7 tonight, and they just closed early, you know? Nothing I can do about it. I, I'm the one who gets screwed over and gets, uh, gets you know, the, the, the short end of the stick here, not them. Um, but what I really want to happen, and I really hope that FedEx will watch this video and will grant this request, please refund my viewer. They don't deserve to pay for overnight shipping and then get nothing for it. They should be refunded. Your company really did poorly. Not only did they fail to deliver the package they were supposed to deliver today for bogus reasons, but then they provided absolutely no sufficient customer support to me to ensure that I will get my package tomorrow, and they didn't even give me the backup option I was supposed to get today because they decided to close early. So please, refund my viewer. I really think you should do the right thing here and give them that person their money back, all right? What I'm doing with this video is trying to explain to my viewership why I likely will most likely not be capturing gameplay tomorrow uh, unless some miracle happens and it does show up early enough that I could set it up. We could, you know, maybe it'll show up midday and then we could test it together live and see if it works. You know, we don't even know if this capture device works. I would know if I got it today, but now we don't know. Now, so much wasted time, so much wasted potential for, you know, gameplay and work that I should be doing and I can't because FedEx dropped the ball on this. Um... So yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm making this video, just to let everyone know what's going on, that I may not be doing gameplay again on Thursday, the 29th of December. But the other reason I'm making this video is I'm sending this to FedEx. I'm sending it to their Twitter account, and I hope they watch it. And I hope that they will refund my viewer his money. He deserves to get his full money back for not getting any kind of actual support or service out of what he paid for. It's a, it's a complete and utter bad situation here all around from the company that, again, should be the gold standard of shipping and today basically proved they're just no better than anyone else. Like, you know, this is what I expect, sadly, from, like, the lowest level of shipping from, like, USPS, where half the time you're wondering if your package will ever make it to the destination. That's, you know, that's basically what you're expecting. And, you, you know, to pay as much as this person did, kindness of their own heart to do me a solid and to help me out during this holiday season and to be treated like this is unacceptable. This company, FedEx, needs to do restitution here and give this person their money back, okay? I hope they do. Anyway, 
Let's see what happens, guys and gals. Uh, hopefully, FedEx will actually do the right thing here. And uh, this person will get their money back. And hopefully, I'll get the package tomorrow. That would also be very nice if I could get the capture device and actually test it out and, you know, see if it works with my setup or not tomorrow. Sorry that I can't answer that question for you now, which I would have been able to if they did their job today and didn't lie about me not being home. Um, but sadly, that's what they chose to do. Okay? Guys, thanks for listening. FedEx representative who probably watched this video, thank you for listening. Please contact me behind the scenes for private information on the tracking number and everything, and I will let you know, and hopefully you will refund my viewer. Okay? Thanks for listening, everyone. Fingers crossed this thing shows up tomorrow. See you then.